Hey everybody, Under here, and in this video I'm going to do my best to break down the general direction you should go in when grinding through your first 12 levels in Pokemon Go. Namely, how to do so in the most efficient way possible. So you start off with the choice between the first gen starters, Charmander, Bulbasaur, whatever. As you've likely already discovered, leveling up your Pokemon requires you to find additional Pokemon of the same species. So if you start with a Squirtle, you're going to have to find a ridiculous amount of Squirtles just to level it up. And, spoiler here, they aren't super common. At level 12, I've yet to see one. I've seen and caught a second Charmander and a single Bulbasaur, but that's not really much to work off of when you've got to catch so many of the same Pokemon to make it, you know, your starter significantly stronger in any way. The sad truth is that your starter, unless you have some sort of emotional attachment to it, will likely be transferred to Professor Willow in exchange for some candy at some point. Any starter Pokemon you catch from here on out is almost certain to, at the very worst, be two points lower in CP than your starter. So yeah, try not to get too attached. The reason why this video is focusing on leveling your character is because with each level you gain, your accomplishments from your previous levels will become less and less significant. Remember catching your first 100 level plus CP Pokemon at level 3? Well, at level 6, nearly half of all the Pokemon you come across will be over level 100. So obviously the name of the game is doing anything you can to blow through these early levels quickly. And the strategy I used can be found on Route 1. But let's go over how to earn experience first. The primary method of gaining experience is going to stem from catching Pokemon. Every Pokemon you catch will garner you 100 XP, plus any bonus you may get from a, the skillfulness of your throw. You also gain a bonus of 500 XP for each new Pokemon you catch. You also gain a rather insignificant amount of experience when dealing with Pokemon Gems. But even at level 5, you're likely going to waste more items than it's worth dealing with them at all. Just avoid Pokemon Gems until you get a bit stronger. The Golden Goose, or the Golden Pidgey as it were, is evolving Pokemon. Evolving a Pokemon will net you 500 experience, and if you end up evolving it into a Pokemon, you've yet to own, you'll still get the 500 experience bonus. That's 1,000 experience, people, just for evolving a Pokemon. Definitely worth the effort. But evolving Pokemon takes a long time, doesn't it? Catch a certain number of Pokemon of the same species, transfer them until you net, like, I don't know, 25 candies, then repeat. It's just not worth it, especially if you're trying to level up on this. Well, except for in a few cases where it certainly is worth it. Did you think I accidentally missed a pun involving Golduck and a Golden Goose? Well, I said Pidgey for a reason. Pidgey, Caterpie, and Weedle are all three-stage Pokemon that don't really get much respect from the game. They're not powerhouses, and they're readily available to everybody at any level. But there is one thing they excel in, and that's evolving quickly. These three Pokemon only require 12 candies to evolve. Considering you get three candies per catch, and one for transferring that Pokemon... You only need to catch 3 to get 12 candies. I highly suggest you stockpile these Pokemon, catch every single one you come across. You see a Pidgey, you catch it. You see a Caterpie, you catch it. You see a Weedle, you catch it, and you hope that there are more in the area. They are super important for this. Now this is where your personal preference can come in. There is an item in Pokemon Go called Lucky Eggs. They double the amount of experience you gain, and there is no better time to use one of these than when you're about to evolve 10 or 20 low-level Pokemon. Doubling up the experience you get from evolving a Pokemon nets you 1,000 experience. But the problem is there's only two ways to get Lucky Eggs. Either buy them off the shop for real money, or wait until you hit level 9 where the game will give you one. If you live in an area where Pokemon are abundant and it won't absorb your entire day to travel to where you need to go to catch lots of Pokemon and get a lot of experience and visit lots of shops then it might be worth buying a Lucky Egg. One or two of them just for the very beginning of the game. No one's going to judge you on this. I chose personally to stick it out and grind to level 9. And when I got to level 9, I popped the Lucky Egg, started evolving, and I was level 12 by time all was said and done. And you also get a Lucky Egg at level 10. So yeah, I went from level 9 to level 12, just based off of the, all the excess Pidgeys and Weedles I call it. I don't think I actually caught any cat many Caterpies. They might be more rare than Weedles where I'm at. I don't know. But off of just Pidgeys and Weedles I stockpiled, I made levels not. I finished levels 9, 10, and 12. It's, it, it's great. And this is your goal, by the way. Level 12. This is when you get access to Great Balls, and they become crucial to catching more powerful Pokemon. 
Uh, if you've gotten this far yet, you'll probably have noticed that it's actually getting harder to catch Pokemon as you level up. While the game is giving you more powerful Pokemon you just randomly encounter, your Pokeballs stay the same. They give you raspberries, but I personally have not seen a significant jump in my ability to catch Pokemon. Uh, but still, I mean, Great Balls, they're crucial. You'll be getting them from level 12 onwards with every level you gain. So anyway, guys, this was my first guide for Pokemon Go. I hope it was coherent enough for you to follow along. I've seen so many people focusing on trying to take down gyms at the levels, ignoring the gold mines that are so easy to catch. You know, the Caterpies, the Pidgeys, the Weedles. And wasting tons of real currency on relatively useless items in the shop. I just wanted to throw this video out there to help newer players. If you found this helpful, please share it with your friends. It definitely helps my channel. And hopefully my I name blathering will help them out too. Guys, I'm under. And I have another guide I want to throw out there for Pokemon Go. It will be coming up in a day or so. I don't know. Whenever I get the time to do it. And uh, yeah, if this advice was of any use to you, please let me know in the comments below. If you've got any advice to share back, put it in the comments below too. I'll definitely, it'll be definitely worth seeing. I'll be definitely happy to see it. And who knows, you might actually help somebody else in the comments. So again, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you all later. See ya.